Are you getting ready for the Praxis Principles of Learning and Teaching Grades K-6 through exam? That's exam code 5622. My name is Jamie Jo and I'm a certified teacher and Praxis coach with Study.com. In this video, we'll walk through four sample problems for the professional development, leadership, and community subtopic of this exam. This practice will help ensure that you're confident on test day. Ready? Let's jump in. Problem one, which of the following demonstrates how utilizing professional literature contributes to effective professional development for educators? A, it provides a theoretical understanding without practical applications. B, it offers diverse perspectives and best practices for improving teaching. C, it imposes rigid guidelines that hinder creativity in teaching approaches. Or D, it restricts learning to a single viewpoint, limiting growth opportunities. Well, in general, professional literature, rather than restricting viewpoints or imposing rigid guidelines, quality literature provides insights, research-based strategies, and varied approaches that empower educators to enhance their teaching practices, fostering continuous growth and improvement in the classroom. So we know it's a great thing to use. So the only positive viewpoint option is B. All the other ones, we're downplaying the power of professional literature. So we know that B is our answer. It offers diverse perspectives and best practices for improving teaching. Problem two, which of the following should be the main focus of professional learning community meetings? A, student learning in progress. B, critiquing teaching abilities. C, discussing upcoming classroom projects. Or D, lesson planning for the coming month. Well, C and D are both things that teachers have team meetings for, so they're gonna meet with their team of teachers who teach the same grade as them and discuss things like upcoming projects and lessons. So that's not something that the whole community or even school community needs to meet about. B, critiquing teaching abilities. That is something that's going to come from an administrator after they observe a teacher. They're going to have a one-on-one -on -one meeting in that sense and not something that needs to be discussed as a whole school or community either. So lastly, A, student learning and progress is definitely something that a school as a whole or a community can talk about because that's going to provide an opportunity for teachers to discuss, collaborate, and review data on student progress. So A is our best answer choice. Problem three, as part of the evaluation process, an educator is preparing their professional portfolio. They need to include evidence of professionalism, which includes being an advocate for the education field as a whole. They have been involved in several ways and can only select one example to include in their portfolio. Assume all of their involvement has been positive and authentic. Which of the following involvement examples best represents this educator advocating for their profession? A. Attending school board meetings. B. Writing assessments for the PED. C. Speaking at legislative sessions on education topics or D, forming an after-school program for at-risk youth. While all of these are professional opportunities, the most advocation for the profession as a whole takes place in an active situation, and in this case, it is an active speaking situation based on these examples. So the best example is C, speaking at legislative sessions on education topics. Problem four. In one rural community, the people often undervalued the teachers, perceiving them as a burden. One of the dedicated teachers planned activities and events to change the teachers' perception and create a positive impact in the community. The teacher held regular open houses and invited parents to school functions to showcase the positive impact of education. The teacher also organized a community outreach program to foster strong relationships within the community. 
Which of the following best describes the way in which the teacher influenced the perception of the teaching profession? A. Isolated the school from the community. B. Focused on academic achievement and positive behavioral outcomes. C. Built positive relationships with the community's students and parents. Or D. Avoided extracurricular activity involvement. Well, to begin, two of these examples are negative things and not things that any teacher should do, and this teacher did not do these either. So A and D are not the best answer choices because the school should not be isolated from the community and extracurricular involvement should not be avoided. So between B and C, the best answer choice is C because B, focusing on academic achievement and positive behavioral outcomes is a good thing to do. And this teacher in particular uh, just didn't focus on that as the way to best make the community come together and value teachers as a whole. So C is what really made the difference and that's built positive relationships with the community's students and parents. I hope this was helpful. If you're looking for more ways to study, then check out our other videos and also make your way over to study.com to check out our Praxis test prep courses. As a study.com member, you'll get full access to hundreds of practice problems like the ones I just walked you through, plus targeted instruction for any topics that you are still struggling with, as well as test strategies to help you maximize your score on test day. Finally, we want to hear from you. Please like and subscribe if today's video was helpful and let us know down below in the comments if there are any specific topics that you want us to cover next. Good luck and happy studying!